What's good? It's your boy Roddy Too Good. Back with another episode of the Pilot Show, bro. I ain't even planning on making a video today. I was actually going chill. I was actually about to play some music and do all the all other types of stuff. But fam, Diddy, Diddy might be he's done. Like Diddy, Diddy is fried rice, bro. Diddy is done up, bro. Like this and this, this is the. Yo, we gotta blame his son King Combs, yo, cause we all was still on the high from Kendrick Lamar and versus Drake. We all was on that high. We all was like still coming, coming back to reality, coming back to all this boring news and stuff like that. We was really just chilling, and then he had to go out and put out that stupid diss track, and then had us all thinking, "Oh damn, yeah, I forgot about that Diddy stuff." And then now this, bro. Now you got this, man. Yo, first of all, this is a whole, this is a Diddy a video. Like, if you was telling me it's a video of Diddy out there beating the chick half naked with a towel on in a hotel, I believe you. And this is exactly what it is, bro. Like, yo, this man is naked throwing this girl and kicking it. Like, this man really put hands and feet on this poor young lady, bro. Like, yo, what is wrong with this man, bro? And now... Now we get to see. Now we get to see how everybody reacts to it. Because it was a lot of sympathizers out there. It was a lot of people. Let's just be real. A lot of these dudes be broke. And they, they like, can't wait to get opportunity. Like, and it's, and it's funny to me because it's like this. It's a lot of people who next to Diddy for years. And they done did this and they done did that. But, bro, why you, you never signed with him? You never did no business with him? Nigga, you just wanted to be friends with him? Like, yo, come on, bro. Oh, you wanted to be at the parties. Oh, you wanted to be at the freak-offs. Oh, you wanted to see what types of chicks Diddy was dealing with. Oh, I get it. You one of those. But that's what I'm saying. Now, we get to see. Now, we get to see who going to come out, who going to defend him. Now, we're going to see. Now, we're going to see who's going to be the first one to come out and really still rock with Diddy after this, bro. For, for a dude, for a grown man. To not only throw a chick like that to the ground, but he kicked her twice and then came back and threw a vase through two vases. See, this is what I'm be telling people about this power and this ego. This man is in the hotel hallway. Like, yo, dude, if you think about it, like, your brain doesn't go out like, oh, dang, somebody could come out and see me. And then, like, somebody could snitch. Like, no, nigga, I'm, like, yo, I'm, I'm Diddy, bro. What you talking about, man? They, they does not say nothing to me, bro. I, I don't, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just that ego of, yo, I could do this broad daylight, middle of the hotel, naked. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, what? What is wrong with him, bro? But, yeah, I'm, I, he's, he's done. He's fried rice, bro. He's fried rice. He, and think about this, man. This man, after this, this man shot at her. I was talking about, yo, shout out to Cassie for getting getting us through these dark times. Nigga, you was the dark time. It's getting darker for you today. Like, yo, it's, it's, it's pretty dark for you today, bro. Like, it's really about to be dark for you for the rest of this whole year. 2024 was not your year, bro. And I don't know if 2025 is going to be nicer to you. Like, you trying to sneak out. And still do your little parties and all that stuff because you thinking like this stuff about to blow over. Nah, fam. It's done up. It's done. Ski. Put a fork in them. Fried rice. Make sure you put the eggs, the peas, and the carrots in that bit. And you might add some chicken in there, son. Like, yo, he's done up, bro. Chicken fried rice. Like, yo, this is crazy, man. I don't, I don't know what to say about, bro. Like, I don't know what to say about this whole situation. But now... We gotta start. We gotta start questioning people. We gotta start going back, seeing all these people make excuses. Oh, tearing a black man down. Oh, why she wait so long, bro? Is no time limit on trauma, bro. Like yo, people, people gotta understand. Like when people, other people's situations, you gotta understand. Like that's not your situation, bro. Like we don't know what type of hole. You don't know what type of hold people have on each other. Like, yo, that just is what it is. What it is. That's what the thing about an abusive relationship. Like, yo, you just, like, a, no, uh, a regular person to see that and be like, yo, that could never be me. But then them, them, they like, nah, this is this feels right. Oh, no, this is this. Like, they they over there trying to 
make sense of this terrible situation in their heads. Like, yo, you got to stop thinking about you and them. Like, yo, this this is, has nothing to do with you. This is about them. And that's wrong for people to be in situations like that, bro. Like, it's just crazy, man. You just... I don't know, man. I don't know where he goes from here. I don't understand um, what his... Uh, his legacy is probably, is probably forever tarnished. I mean... We can't take away what Diddy did for the culture. Sorry, it's allergies, bro. This is crazy. We can't take away from what Diddy did for the culture. We can't take away, like, the music and all that. But from here forward, bro is definitely done up, bro. Like, and now, see, before people have reasonable doubt, they could say, they could say certain things. They could say, oh, well, it was civil. Oh, well, she waited for so long. Oh, why she ain't just go out right there? Like, listen, yo, it's people who did he did stuff too that still never going to say nothing because they think he just has that much power. Same, and that's the thing about power. This is, it's some, um, Michael Jai White, he put it together. He put it together perfectly. He said, yo, this is the first time in history where powerful people were getting punished. So, like, I don't, he's like, yo, I don't care what people said back in the day. Like, why you don't do this? Why you do this? is the only, he said, this, in this current era that we're in, he said, this is the only example of people with power getting punished like this. And this is very, very true. Like, so, I, I mean, we can't use that as an excuse, yo, about, oh, why she wait so long? So, now, now we, now what we're going to do, we're going to take this information, we're going to see it, we're going to store it. We're going to act accordingly. Now, Diddy, you're officially done up. Now, we don't want to see you for real no more. And not only that, now we got to see who the people who are stand next to you. That's what that's what, that's what it's going to be. We're going to see. Where's Stevie J at now? Where's Stevie J? Where's, uh, was it, uh, Mano? Mano was, he was, he was, uh, he was thick enough for Diddy too. I saw him in some interviews. I saw a couple people saying, tearing down a black man. Yo, now I, I guess they ain't going to be there no more. Yo, I guarantee you. I guarantee you they ain't going to be at the next party. I see you throwing parties, asking for everybody's cell phone. Like, that's going to matter. Brother, you're done. I told you. Get some duck sauce. That brother is fried rice. Like, yo, come on, man. But, man, like, comment, subscribe, bro. Things is going up on this channel. Um, uh, y'all, I appreciate y'all for viewing this. Appreciate y'all for hitting the like button. We we only growing from here, man. Comments though, yo, hit 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 them comments, man. Let me know how y'all feel, bro. Let's get this community going for real. Like, yo, that us. All right, yo.